Hi guys, welcome to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my videos. In this video, we're going to be going over positive thoughts and affirmations. Guys, it is completely mind blowing how many thoughts go through our minds every second, every minute, every hour. There's absolutely no way to control them all, but in this video, I'm going to give you the best tips on how you can do your best to control them as much as possible. Now guys, this is the sixth video out of 11. If you haven't seen the other videos, not to worry you can just look below in the description section to see details on how to view all of the other videos in the description section you will also see information for a company called achieve test prep guys listen there are a lot of companies that offer programs for LPN to RN or LPN to BSN or RN to BSN and a lot of them over promise and under deliver guys this is the exception I'm putting my name behind it and I'm actually giving away my first ever empowering grants or scholarship if you will of $600. I really want to empower you to take the steps to get the degree that you need to be successful in your career. So if you don't have your BSN yet and you're thinking about it, make sure you go ahead and fill out the form below. There's no strings attached. And by doing that, you'll be taking giant steps to empower you with the right degree. All right, guys, with that said, let's get right into the video. Step number six, positive thoughts and affirmations. I used to go around life thinking that life just wasn't fair and I was going to be poor my whole life. The world was a very scary place and that terrible things were just lurking around every corner. And I found that I was actually consuming a lot of media. I was watching a lot of television. I was watching a lot of news. I was reading the newspaper articles. I was reading tabloids. I was reading all kinds of things. I was listening to music that said bad words. Just all kinds of things were just inundating me. What I found was that when I paid attention to what I let myself absorb and what I let myself get exposed to, to a degree that I, you know, to whatever degree I can, obviously we can't control everything, that if I allowed myself to put positive things in my life, it just made me feel so much better. So one of the first things that I did was I started reading positive books and I would find so much inspiration from reading small sentences in books. And then what I found was that audiobooks were amazing because not only is somebody reading the book to you, but I could actually sweep the house or clean the kitchen or do the things that would make me feel better. I think it was then that I started realizing the importance of actually putting positive thoughts in your mind. And I remember very specifically because I was at work and there was a nurse complaining and she said something along these lines. She said, oh, those big fat people lounging around in the office watching us scurry around like slaves. They just don't even care and all they care about is money. And from listening to such positive information, I was actually able to like stand back and say, wow, that's actually so negative compared to what I'm listening to. Let me just think about this metaphor. So I saw this really lazy person sitting in a chair, twiddling his thumbs, you know, $100 bills all over himself and watching us scurry around. And I was like, that is the most depressing metaphor I've ever experienced. And I was like, is that based on reality? First of all, of course it's not based on reality. It's just something that she said. And she said it not even seriously as well. But you have to be careful with the things that you're saying because in a sense, what you're saying is the life that you're creating. So what if she keeps saying things like this and she really starts to believe it? So a small example of how we can accidentally start doing the things that we joke about is I knew somebody that moved to North Carolina. I'm actually from North Carolina who was always making fun of the Southern accent. He made fun of the Southern accent so much that I promise you it gave him the Southern accent and now he's not joking anymore. It's a true 100% Southern accent. So at the time you may be doing things innocently, but even if it is innocent, you have to watch what it is. Okay. This other nurse's metaphor kind of was getting deeply ingrained in me. And I found that every time I was really busy, that was kind of the metaphor that I was going to. That was like my go-to metaphor. And I would actually get really upset because the metaphor was just working me up because you know, every time somebody said, Oh, you have another patient or this person needs to go to the bathroom. This doctor needs help with a procedure. This patient's asking for pain medication. And when I was like completely overwhelmed, 
I would see that vision. And so one of the things that I did was I started saying to myself, this vision sucks once again. This vision is just not going to get me anywhere. So in order to get rid of that metaphor, I had to create another metaphor. And so I said to myself, you know what? It's all fictitious anyways. So I'm going to create my own metaphor. And I said, what if instead of lazy people looking around watching us work really hard, what if the people in charge of our work what if they're actually extremely nice people and hardworking people and you know every time they have a new policy they argue with each other because they don't want to give us more work and they know we're overwhelmed and, and they feel for us and they try to help us as much as possible um, what if what if that was the case you know so instead I, I pictured that I pictured people that were really caring that that really wanted us to succeed and wanted our patients to be happy and well cared for and what I found was peace. I found peace in not thinking of negative things. And this peace was priceless. And you know, I, I had actually been going back to that old negative metaphor for weeks. And for the first time in weeks, I actually felt peace when there was complete chaos. And I said, you know what? Why didn't I do this to begin with? And so now I know the power of metaphors and the power of spoken metaphors and the fact that your words are not just affecting you, they're affecting other people. Because I was also affected by other people's words. So that was one example, and I'm sure there's a lot of other examples that you've also experienced of how spoken words can have such power over you. So in addition to listening to my books, which fed my mind positive information, I also started speaking words out loud. Now I'm actually a kind of shy person, and I do this when nobody's watching, and if you're not a shy person and you want to do this when everybody's watching, then go for it. Be a role model. But I started saying positive words and it's really been a, a game changer. But as I was walking to work, I, I started real simple because I, I really didn't know what affirmations were and of course I didn't know how powerful they were. So not only are metaphors powerful, but the spoken word is extremely powerful too. So I started real simple. I started basically just saying thank you as I walked, which I learned from the movie The Secret. And which if you haven't seen the movie The Secret, it's, it's very powerful. I mean, some of it might be taken out of proportion, of course, but it does have some great fundamental concepts. And so just saying thank you as I walk was an affirmation that, that just helped me focus on what I'm thankful for. Um, because if you say thank you, then after a while you can't just say thank you. You have to start thinking about what you're actually thankful for. And so I found myself actually walking into work saying thank you, thank you. And I was kind of like, thank you for this job. Thank you that I made it through nursing school. Thank you that I get to be here when I know a lot of other students, they didn't make it. And thank you that I get to walk because we all have patients that we know that lost that. But just just focusing on real simple affirmations, it really changed my life. And people noticed these things. When I was really positive and I was able to think clearly, I mean, within six months, they wanted me to start training new nurses. And within eight months, I was charge nurse with you know a lot more potential openings up as well. So when I started seeing all of these good things happening to me, I kind of started taking it a little bit deeper. And I started saying, I'm attracting good things or good things are going to happen to me, or I am where I'm supposed to be. Actually, that was a really powerful one for me because one day I was having kind of a rough day at work and I was wishing that I was outside, you know, laying in the sun because it was such a beautiful day and summer had just started. And so I was having a difficult time focusing and I remember all of a sudden this affirmation just came to me because I had said it so many times and it said, I am where I'm supposed to be. And I remember just feeling so amazing at that moment because I felt like all of the things that I had been doing had just paid off because it made a rough day a little bit better. So another affirmation that I might say is I am attracting outstanding opportunities. And that kind of keeps me alert. It keeps me excited to want to do my best because, hey, another opportunity could come my way. So um, that's one that I say. 
Another one that I say is, I have all the energy that I need right now and my second wind is coming. And I love saying that because if I'm really tired, then I know that I can actually get a second wind and forget that I was tired before. So by now you might be thinking, wow, there's a lot of things that I say that are really bad. And I know exactly where you are because that was totally me a few years ago. I used to say all kinds of things. Sarcasm was my fluent language at the time and I would say a lot of different things like wow this is such a great job or wow that was such a great client and I wasn't really a nurse at that time um, but I was working in the service industry mainly as a waitress so there were a lot of things that I said that were very very negative I want you right now to just think of some words or some phrases that you might have said that can actually paint a picture a different picture that might not be positive. So if you say things like, why do we always have to do this? Why do we always have to do this work? Or why do they make us do all of this work? Then that's okay. Right now, it's just about taking back control of your life and, and step by step, making sure that you just don't do it anymore. And if you find yourself doing it, like every now and then I find myself kind of chiming in the negativity and I'm like, wait a minute, that didn't really feel that great. I mean, it, ate, it felt like basically eating a bag of potato chips. You'll feel full, but you'll feel dirty in some way. Okay guys, so the exercise for now is to write two positive affirmations that are possibly just positive in and of itself, or they could be replacing some negative things that you've been saying in the past. So this is gonna be really personal. Try not to look to your neighbor because you want something that is going to mean something to you. So in the next video, I will explain to you how to protect your positive mind that you've newly created. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit.